This is how you handle anxiety with someone with autism. Don't yell at them. Don't be down. Don't be negative. Be positive and uplifting and happy and loving and comforting sounding and let them know everything's going to be fine and try to make them happy and calm them down. Ask them what they need and give them time to get past the anxiety and comfort them and give them a hug and and just pray for them and just don't ever be too hard on them. Don't be negative. Don't get frustrated with them. Just stay patient. Us autistics need extra help dealing with our anxiety. Like neurotypicals can find ways to deal with it on their own, but as an autistic, it can be very, very, very difficult finding ways to deal with our anxiety. And that's why we need to constantly seek help from people. Like I need to talk, I need to talk now. So, so that's why we reach out so much as in, Mom or Carissa might, um, like, find ways to deal with it on their own, but autistics need to talk to someone. We need extra help on dealing with our anxiety, so please be patient with us. Our anxiety can make us feel really intensifyingly emotional and really anxious and maybe we get overwhelmed as we aren't sure how to deal with it or or it just feels like our emotions are like really really intense like it's a highly intensified build up of emotion and maybe we just don't know what to do with it or don't know how to feel it or it just feels too much like there's a lot going on so please understand, accept, and respect, and be patient, and loving, and happy, and never get frustrated with us. So that was the message for today.